my ex was a great guy. Like, even after we broke up, still sending me flowers to my apartment. You know, like, just a great guy, but for somebody else. And we didn't break up because of anything that he did to me, anything that I found out or anything or anything that I did to him. We literally broke up because just of small things that led me to understand that this was not my husband. And so I needed to make room for my husband by exiting that relationship. Um, but I'm telling you, the way that he treated me within this relationship was so good he's raised my standard and you guys know that my standards are already high to begin with but my ex treated me so well in our relationship that it was like if if the next guy he's made it harder for the next guy <laughs> yo he looked just how i'm looking right now i'm confused i'm confused my guy Ladies, this is prime example why a lot of these dudes are scared to be in relationships. Imagine being a great guy but not good enough. Imagine being great enough to raise the bar for the next. What? Once you hit 30, you better pipe down. After 35, you're worthless. This is what they try to tell us. So at 39, if you get in that 22-year-old, good for you, sis. Good for you. Let them know we're still popping. Let them know. I don't think that that's okay. I understand that there can be age differences, but when it's that egregious, that's a problem for me. Because why is it that nobody in your generation is somebody worth dating? You have to go backwards. You're either hiding something, you're trying mm. to be manipulative. There's so many different layers to that type of a relationship that is not okay to me. Every single thing that they put as a down part of women, Drea said, watch this but why she it. couldn't do so it with I'm a 40 year old millionaire you're Dre she did Michelle. it with a 22 you year old bad as fuck you've been bad for 20 fucking years you just know who you are mm -hmm. shit is weird and if i had a son and he bought home a 40 year old bitch me and her we have to scrap and mm. we can keep my son mm. like we gonna have to fight it out because that's fucking crazy to me so the whole Dre and michelle thing where she got impregnated by a young 22-year-old uh, basketball player. I was actually going to do a video on that, and I just kind of, I ain't do it anymore. To be honest with you, a woman who is 39 dating a 22-year-old, mentally, she's walking circles around that. Shout out to him for taking down a 39-year-old, but at the same time, he got her pregnant, so that W quickly turned into an L. My name's Eric, and I am 38. Okay, and Eric, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, I think it's a style thing. I don't like the dress. And I feel like, well, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bad dress. It fits you well. It's just I feel like the color. Mm -hmm. When you're when you're darker skinned, I like for girls to choose things that will stand out to balance that. And so for me, it didn't, it didn't draw my attention immediately. Oh, my back hurt. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 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 No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Push me. Push me. Push me. Push me. Oh, my God, bro. These niggas are gay. I wasn't planning on doing that today because I actually injured my back. But, um... <laughs> Did y'all see how... Beautiful that woman looked in that dress. Did this man say the color when you have darker skin tone? I would like for you to select a different color dress. Did, what? <sighs> we live in a time where bitches walk outside with nothing on, showing cheeks and poom poom print. This woman was wearing a form fitting dress that showed her shape but not too much. And you was talking about the color. You just needed something. All that was to me personally is he felt as though she was going to reject him, so he wanted to reject her first. That's that's what I get from that. Part two of how my ex became my stepbrother. So basically, no. So basically, we were together, and then we weren't. And then I tried to send him back to Washington because I didn't want to live with him anymore. And my dad wasn't having it. He was like, no, he's not leaving to Washington. What do you mean? So he was like, if you don't want him living with you, I'm going to get him an apartment, which he's in the process of getting an apartment. He was like, I'm going to get him a car, which he already got him a car. He got him a job working with me. 
and what else? And now he's my roommate until further notice, until he leaves. He should be leaving soon. And my dad also said that he was going to adopt him, which he basically is adopting him. Um, I don't know what else I'm missing. Am I missing anything else? He got, he, uh, no, we're not. He also got him, he also opened him a bank account. And so we already know the dad knows this dude is a great guy because the dad doesn't <laughs> want him to leave. He said, over my dead body. That's the son I always wanted. That's what I was thinking. Listen, the dad know he's a good guy. We know the relationship didn't work out because it's her. We know she's the problem. She, I mean, she's a Latina. What you expect, man? What you expect? You think these girls are like the easiest to the... You don't even know. You don't believe me? Ask any guy who has been in a relationship with a Latina and they will tell you, man. They will tell you. Let me tell y'all something. I have never seen a dude get in a relationship with a Hispanic woman and at the end of that relationship, he's the same person. I don't know what they be doing to these but boy, I don't lie, I don't I don't have some 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 Latin tilapia now. I don't have some Latin tilapia. I I I see the hype. I understand the hype, you feel me? I definitely understand the hype. But um those women will drive you crazy. Okay, my European friends, white friends, they have been saying that, oh, in Africa, this is the kind of cucumber as a black ladies that we get all the time. And I want to clear this up. It is not true. Some of you, you are even scared to approach black ladies because you just think, no, maybe uh, she just like big cucumber. She has been receiving big cucumber. It is not true. So you want to date a black lady, just feel, 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 feel free. It is not true. We get shocked and surprised when we see this as well uh, in Africa, because it's not everywhere, you understand? So I got this, Africa is a continent, Africa is not a country. You go to Nigeria, yes, of course, because I hear the people, yes, yeah. You go to Nigeria, in Nigeria, yeah, majority. You go to Congo, majority. You go to Tanzania, majority. But you go to uh, South Africa, you go to Namibia, you go to uh, Lesotho, you go to Botswana, you know, the, 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 the Zambia, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it seems like here in, in, in Europe, you know, sometimes you get shocked, sometimes you get shocked, sometimes you get shocked. So now, have a confidence, my brother. It does not matter where you sit, it does not matter the skin of my color, my color of the skin, English is not my language. It does not matter that it's a black lady. Okay. I don't know if I should be leaving any type of comments on this. Um, I'm not finna be going to Africa searching for cucumbers. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Your husband was wrongfully convicted. How long would you wait for him? Six months, max. And we've been together 15 years. How long would you wait for her? Forever. No lie. Let me ask y'all a question in the comment section. I really want y'all to answer this. You and your significant other been together 10 plus years. Let's say they pass away. How long are you waiting before you get back on the dating market? Like how long is too long? How long is too short? Realistically, what's the wait time? Oh, no. That's not a good prank to put on somebody. She's scared for her life. That's cruel, dog. That's cruel. <laughs> thinking I'm going to die. First off, I'm not a big fan of roller coasters and Shout out to him for his camera work with all the loops and, and, and hoops they were going through. But at the same time, that's not a cool prank to pull on nobody. 
I hope she broke up with your ass after this. We just found a monster mud crab inside the hole of this tree. Oh my god, look at the size of its claw. One pinch and that thing could take my finger clean off. Bruh, no way. No way. This man says one pinch and this thing could take my finger clean off and proceeds to start tapping it with his hand. Blindly. Oh my god. I know why y'all sent me this. I know why y'all sent me this. I know why y'all sent me this. Go ahead, bro. Come here, buddy. Pick up, pick up. Come on. Maybe we can get him to pinch this right here and then drag his ass out. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh. He's probably going to bend the metal on this thing. You want the smoke? He's coming out. He's coming out. Oh. 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 Grab it close, grab it close, grab it close, really, really fast. Go, grab, quick. Uh, 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 he grabs uh, it. It's huge. <laughs> oh my god! Look at the size of this crab! We just found a monster mud. I can't even really say white folks are fearless in this particular situation because when I lived in the Caribbean, we used to hunt crabs also. And I do recall um, getting caught by a crab. Like, I do recall, like, a crab claw biting one of my fingers. Um, it's, not, it's not the best feeling in the world, bro. Getting pinched by a crab is not... It's a no bueno. I forgot how they ended up getting him like to open his claws, but he was on there. He was definitely on there. 